Hi everyone, yeah, um, I just wanted to do another video, I wanted to talk about travel. I wanted to talk about how it's good to go out and see places, it's good to get out of your comfort zone, good to get out of the bubble that you're in, because I think people are sort of, um, they're used to a routine. I think I've said recently, people are used to that routine of um, not really kind of getting out and sort of used to kind of living in a certain place. But I've been reading a lot of books, I've been reading a lot of Jack Reacher books, and he's like travelling around the United States, but obviously that's different because it's a different demographic than England. But I'm thinking perhaps people should get out more. I feel like, you know, people are so used to kind of um, sort of staying in the same place. I feel like it's good to travel, it's good to open your eyes up and see what's out there. Um, just behind there I've got a book called Wanderlust. So you've got the Greek islands, you've got um, Airbnb, Regen to Travel. You've got a lot of places. And like I said, this book's amazing because you go into Waterstones and you get lots of travel books like The Lonely Planet. And you get even to go into Smiths and you get so much travel stuff about all the places you can travel. And it really opens your eyes up about all these different places. Let's talk about Florida, Australia. Um, you just got loads of different places. And I think it's good. I think on the front cover, it's um, uh, in Northern France or something. Is that Northern France? And um, it's just incredible. I think there's so many different places on here. Um, Italy, um, the mountains, like Canada, got mountains in Canada and stuff. Um, Gabon forest. I think it's quite, I think it's incredible. I think people have got to open their eyes at the Greek islands, Catalonia, Scottish islands. Um, like I said, and it's the world's your oyster. That's what I'm trying to say. The world is your oyster. You you can really go where you like. There's no rule saying you can only live in England. I mean, obviously you need passports to get places, but. The world is the world really you know the, the world is your oyster. You shouldn't be um you shouldn't bound down to one place anyway. And it's good to travel. It's good and healthy, especially when you're young. Like so, when you get older, you know, your ability to travel might, might be reduced a little bit. Unless you're vegan, you're, you're really healthy and stuff. But like I said, when, when you get older, the ability to travel might not be there. So um the key thing is to um get out and explore. And I think it's really good for mental health as well. I think um, if you want to see the world, if you want to go to places like Italy, Spain. You know, Dubai to the world's tallest skyscraper, go to America, Florida, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, go to Texas, go to Mississippi, go to Chicago, go to Shanghai, go to China, go to Asia, go to India, go to Australia, go to New Zealand, go to a place in Africa, go to Egypt. Probably not go to Russia. <laughs> That's definitely not a place to go to get a minute. But um, there's so many places, you know, even in England, I haven't really fully um, gone it everywhere. You know, I'm sort of, you know, I'm in Swindon at the moment, so it's like I'm comparing all these places like New York and. Oh, whatever it is, what it is. He, he, like I said, you live where you live, don't you? Some, some place has got to live here, but you know, whatever. And, you know, if I could, I've never been to America. I've never left the continent. Although, technically speaking, I did go to Tenerife once, which I thought you can actually see on my one of my channels, Elliot Flashbacks or something. Um, and even on my Facebook album. But I, um, I went to Tenerife nine years ago, which is sort of level with the Gambia. I think Tenerife is like a, an island sort of level with the Gambia. So, um, but people should get out more, people should travel. And I think it's healthy, I think it's healthy for people to do that. There's so many mountains in Canada, like North Canada or whatever, there's so many big, Canada's been out for, when I used to go on Instagram a lot, I used to always see these Instagram photos of like uh, plush mountains in Canada, all these, all these people hiking across the mountains in Canada. I'm thinking, fuck it out, I wish I could go there. My girlfriend hiking along with her and stuff, isn't it? I don't know, have some vegan food or, I don't know. But yeah, I think it's good to travel, it's good to get out, and people should do that, people should um, explore. And um, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone because at the end of the day, live while you're young, do what you want, travel, see the world, be happy with where you're living your life, live, you know, live to the best of your means. Like I said, people have got it worse. People, you know, just look across what's happening overseas. People don't realise how lucky they are. So travel, get out, motivate yourself, be happy, do well, um, be healthy, go vegan, you know, that's, you know, get a partner and go with them or something. And um, be so grateful for life, be grateful for health, be grateful for the way that you're living, even if you are in the same place. Even just getting out and going for a walk and change your mindset a little bit, make you think about things. But take a day trip, get, take a road trip somewhere, get the plane, get to the nearest airport, because why not? Um, you know, quit your job and get out and travel and see the world and go across the mountains, go across the deserts, or not the deserts, but... <laughs> but do what you like and get out and travel and see the world and be happy with the way you're living your life and live while you're young because when you get older it might not be so practical so yeah do it now do it now i'm 26 get going baby <laughs> get going